everyone, the big crowd out here. Um, for my senior project, I decided to get my scuba diving certification. Scuba diving has been a dream of mine ever since I went on a cruise in fifth grade. We had stopped in Belize and were supposed to go scuba diving off the coast and explore the coral reefs. We had gotten off the ship, ship and onto land where we were told that due to weather, a scuba diving trip was canceled. I was extremely disappointed and ever since then I had wanted to go scuba diving. Snorkeling is the closest thing to that. Ever since I was little, when we went up to our boat on Lake Wapasaki, I would always get the snorkeling gear out and dive into the water. I would dive down deep and see how long I could hold my breath before returning to the surface. I never really had time to get my certification with work and school, so the project was a great motivation to find this time and complete the task. I had discussed the idea with my parents and they told me uh, that it was a great idea and told me to try to find, find a place to do it. After some research and a couple phone calls, I decided to go through this dive shop in Londonderry called Aquatic Escapes Dive Shop. My dad and I drove to the dive shop and signed up for the course. The reason I picked this dive shop was because it was uh, I could make my own hours and it was pretty flexible. Uh, the scuba diving certification consists of classroom work, pool dives, and finally open water dives. The classwork portion of this uh, I did online at the SSI dive website and then took the test in person at the dive shop in London Dairy. After the test, after I passed the test, I scheduled the first dives. The first dives were in London Dairy, and this is where I learned the basic uh, uh, the basic uh, skills such as like taking off your mask underwater and clearing all the water out of the mask. And there's also a lot more to scuba diving than you think. Um, so, right. so that's like the pool that I went diving in, and then that's me diving. Um, I thought you could just get into the water and just swim around, but you have a lot more to control. You have to control the buoyancy by inflating and deflating your PC. You have to pay attention to the pressure you have in your tank and a lot more other factors. Um, that is the regulator, so that's what you breathe in through. And the secondary or alternate air source is what you use if, in case of emergencies, if you have to share an air source with somebody. The pressure gauge is what shows how much is in the how much pressure is in the air tank. The buoyancy compensator is what you inflate and deflate to maintain different um, depths. Uh, the math and snorkel, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, fin, self-explanatory. Dive booties are just to keep your feet warm, and then the weight belt. It's so you can so you don't just float right up to the top. Um, when I first went underwater, it was uh, one of the weirdest yet coolest feelings to be able to be 10 feet underwater and breathe perfect, perfectly. There were about four pool dives and every time I could feel myself progressively getting better and better and more comfortable. I was supposed to have my ocean dive last Sunday, but unfortunately it got moved to this Sunday due to weather. I'll be going to Londonderry to meet my scuba instructor Mike and we will be heading to, up to Maine to complete my certification. Compared to pool diving, open water diving will be much different. It will be, instead of a warm pool, it will be a, the freezing cold water. The wetsuits we wear are pretty thick, however it still will be cold. Wetsuits allow water to get into, your into the suit and warm up due, uh, because of your body temperature. Um, there are dry suits, which is on the left, and those keep you completely dry as they are sealed off at the ankles and the feet. The wetsuits allow for water to go in through the zipper and just warm up to, because of your body temperature. Um, I've had past experience with wetsuits and when I went to Spain, when I went surfing, and so I'm not too nervous about the cold. Um, my research has taught me a lot about scuba diving and what I, would, what I will look forward to in future diving experiences. I learned a lot about the dangers of scuba diving and how to avoid injuries. Research was especially useful because I learned about the equipment and how, to use, how it is used. I also learned a lot about cave diving, which is, one of, is very interesting to me. You are navigating through endless miles of caves 
And I talked to my diving instructor about this, and it's one of the programs that they offer through their dive shop. He also said that it was one of his favorite types of diving as well. So I think that in the future I might expand my areas of study in diving. This project has definitely taught me to not be afraid to follow through with my dreams. I should have gotten my certification a while ago, and I regret waiting this long. I'd like to especially thank my parents, who have helped me financially with this project. Ms. Hudak, my mentor, Ms. Aubin, who has helped me with a lot of the classwork, and Mike, my scuba diving instructor. Any questions?